Uh, so it's Mike Reddy reporting from BBS News. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, Old City in Damascus, and as you can see around me, um, people are just getting on with life. This is the last day of their weekend on Saturday. Um, obviously, we had the uh, cruise missiles and airstrikes from uh, USA, Donald Trump, and uh, UK, Theresa May, and Macron in France uh, that landed this morning. They did wake us up. We heard uh, two huge explosions in the distance from our hotel, maybe 30 kilometers away, certainly in the Damascus suburbs. Uh, we've been told that this was uh, a research facility, nothing to do with chemical weapons. Obviously, there are no chemical weapons in the country anymore, and the OPC have, in fact, testified to that years ago. So um, uh, the other airstrike uh, apparently struck uh, a, an army installation somewhere near on the outskirts of Homs. Again, um, they were been, they'd been told in advance, and so the army had evacuated that, that particular installation. Um, there have been no apparent uh, damage caused to any infrastructure or assets of the Syrian Arab army and this is because they were told in advance where they were going to be targeting and more specifically where they weren't going to be targeting which was any Iranian assets or Russian assets or Hezbollah assets so there would be no repercussions from Syria's allies so Syria <laughs> simply moved helicopters and aircraft onto those Russian bases within the country and so they were all protected and not targeted in the early hours of this morning. Um, people here are talking to us and they're saying that it's just crazy what's going on, especially because this attack has been launched uh, while the investigation is, is just at beginning, in fact. So we have OPCW investigators on the scene now in Douma. Uh, it's doubtful they're going to find anything because the Russian intelligence and Syrian intelligence were on the scene within hours of the alleged attack and they found absolutely zero evidence of uh, any chemical weapons being, um, being utilised. Um, we're also hearing rumours here in Syria that the uh, Syrian military have captured and detained what appears to be two MI6 assets, agents or officers, we're not sure. Um, they were being filmed in that Duma hoax, that false flag hoax, uh, acting as doctors. Whether they were genuine doctors, we're not sure, but um, it appears on uh, initial reports, unconfirmed, as I said, uh, that those MI6 assets are in fact in Syrian custody today. Um, this is what uh, Sergei Lavrov has alluded to already. He's actually said that this was a hoax perpetrated by state actors. He's then gone further and said this was a hoax perpetrated by British intelligence. And now we have, as I say, these uh, unconfirmed reports that two MI6 assets are in custody here in Damascus. Um, so it doesn't bode well for Theresa May. Um, her crazy attitude to this conflict uh, and also the media's attitude to this conflict has been one of... Um, Plausible deniability, or implausible den deniability, as I like to call it. Um, we've heard the media talking this morning about why the British didn't get involved up until now. Uh, they seem to forget there was a special forces soldier killed within Syria last month. So we obviously have boots on the ground. I don't remember uh, a UK parliamentary vote um, approving that kind of action. And there may be some pundits out there that say we don't need that kind of thing and we have a, a government or a parliamentary prerogative that can take us into war at any time. But the fact is that it's hardly being reported on that the US troops are here illegally. Uh, UK troops are also in the country illegally. Uh, and we have special forces from other countries as well, including Canada, Norway, and I suspect uh, French commandos will be here, or at least on the border with Turkey, uh, vetting and arming the... Uh, the still continuing flow of the world's worst jihadists to come and uh, and uh, answer their sickening call. Um, we're going to wrap it up there and we'll uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.